hello guys uh welcome back to my channel maison african motives in this platform we shall be working on trigonometry uh working on uh, trigonometric identities how to prove uh trigonometric identities so i'm going to use the question paper of april uh, 2019 to work on that case so if you're new guys you can consider subscribing to my channel so that you won't miss any of the classes from maison african motives okay so we're actually given this identity which you are given to prove uh so this was actually the question using trigonometric identity to prove that we are asked to prove that and yeah, we've got four marks to prove that type of equation okay so how do we prove this uh identity guys applying the trigonometry okay so from your formula sheet under trigonometry this is what we actually have guys all right this is your trigonometry here this is the part the identities that you're going to be given and the ratios that you're going to be given the ones that you're going to use whenever you are to attempt a question under trigonometry all right so in this case uh, maybe if we are to just uh, work it stage by stage because when you are to prove you have to check the side that you're going to use so in this case i'm going to work with the left hand side okay so i'm going to choose the left hand side which is equal to this part as it is so i'm going to repeat this part that's sine theta minus cos theta squared everything over over sine theta okay so if we are to cross check properly there is a bracket here which is being raised to the exponent of two so definitely i have to expand this bracket that i'm given so depending with the way that you're going to use to expand you have got sine theta minus cos theta into uh, sine theta minus cos theta that's what most of us do to expand so we're going to have sine and sine which is sine squared theta then we've got sine and cos which is minus sine theta cos theta like this okay you move on to cos theta and sine theta so this one is going to be minus sine theta cos theta since you have written this as sine cos so the same thing sine cos minus cos and minus cos you are going to have plus cos squared theta so take note you can collect this like so this is the working that is supposed to be shown but you just show it aside or on the other platform where you're given to do your calculations okay so you've got like terms that we have here minus one minus one so you're going to have sine squared theta minus one minus one that's minus two so you're going to have minus two sine theta cos theta plus cos squared theta so this is the part that maybe you can indicate here because someone could have just used uh, the identity this remember this identity guys when you are given a minus b squared that it gives us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared so someone can use this so there's no need for you to show this working uh, on this part you can show it aside okay so you are going to have sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta cos theta like this okay plus cos squared theta all right everything over sine theta all right there's something that we are having here which is weird here sine squared theta cos squared theta all right if we are to take this here from this identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta gives us a one so that means in place of sine squared theta plus cos squared theta i'm going to substitute a one in place of this sine squared plus cos squared i'm going to give a one so it means this can be written as one minus in this bracket now i'm having one minus two sine theta cos theta like this everything over sine theta so it's stage by stage guys remember we want to prove stage by stage so what are we left with now as you can see this one is a matter of uh, expanding the brackets you can just expand the brackets now okay which is one minus times one that's minus one 
minus times the minus there that's plus 2 sine theta cos theta everything over sine theta all right if we are to cross check properly that's 1 minus 1 there which is going to cancel 1 minus 1 that's a 0 there so you're going to be left with 2 sine theta cos theta so this is what you're going to be left with 2 sine theta cos theta over sine theta like this that is now sine and sine can cancel so if sine and sine can cancel you're going to be left with 2 cos theta so this is going to give you 2 cos theta which is exactly the same thing as what we had on the right hand side so as we can see guys they can ask this these identities in different ways or different formats so what you need is to be very very careful with the question that you'll be given okay what about this one let's just try and uh, do this one as we close up sine x over 1 minus cos x is equivalent to 1 plus cos x over sine x like this you're asked to prove so they can ask you to prove this guys how are we going to prove this as an additional question how can we prove this identity all right this is the idea here just like what we did in the previous case we have to choose uh, the side that you're going to work with okay so in this case i'm just going to choose the left hand side all right let's just say i have chosen to use the left hand side what do i have on the left hand side so my left hand side in this case is equal to sine x over 1 minus cos x so i have to prove this that is going to give me the right hand side wow what are you going to do now for this type of equation take note here we have almost everything similar here but only that here we've got a plus so looking into what happened i can choose to multiply both the numerator and denominator by one plus cos x over one plus cos x let's see the magic how it's gonna work here if we choose to multiply by one plus cos x over one plus cos x like that we haven't changed anything because still one plus cos x over one plus cos x is same as a one it's still like you're multiplying to one so there's no effect there but let's multiply and see what is going to happen which is going to give us a solution sine x into this part is going to be one plus cos of x everything over i want you to cross check now what's happening here in the denominator there if you are to cross check properly this is one minus cos x one plus cos x a plus here a minus here from a minus b into a plus b on your algebra there we understand this came from difference of two squares which is from a squared minus b squared that is where we obtained such type of an expression so that actually means this part here can be written as a squared minus b squared which is one squared minus cos x squared like this but one squared is same as one sorry so you're just going to write it as one there okay anyways this is not going to change it's just going to remain as one okay minus cos x squared like this can be written like this cos squared x so that is what you now have there but still we've got a long way to go because we need to prove this but we have got something that is a, a little bit familiar or a little bit closer there okay on the top let's just leave it like that let's concentrate with this denominator here from these identities that we have we talked about this identity here of uh, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta which is equal to one if you are to cross check this time we have one minus cos squared x so what happened here 
it's simply transposing this cos to the other side of the equation which is uh, to the right side so that we are going to be left with sine squared theta which is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta if we transpose if we take this to this side we are going to be left with sine squared so the equivalent of 1 minus cos squared theta is sine squared theta so that means i can replace this 1 minus cos squared x with sine squared x is the same as 1 minus cos squared x because theta theta this is x this is x so this is what you're going to replace here in place of 1 minus cos squared x so which means this is going to look like this the numerator is going to be as it is sine x on the numerator into 1 plus cos x okay everything over we have replaced this with sine squared so this is going to be sine squared x from this part here sine squared x so at the end as we can see i've got sine here i've got sine so you can cancel because sine into sine one you have there two so if i cancel i'm going to remain with sine x so this is going to give us one plus cos x over sine x like this which is actually the same thing is what we had on the right hand side this one is what we actually had on the right hand side as you can see it's the same thing that we're having there but the way that we was presented it was something else but that's how they can ask these questions guys so that's what we're going to work on guys as we shall be working on more questions and revisions from Mason african motives working on mathematics m3 uh, till we meet again